life just so uh, amazing to me. Like when, when I walk through that door, I feel happy. I put a smile on my face. I see a lot of people here that know me and I know them. It made, it made me feel awesome. I'm Carter Clark. I'm a bodybuilder. You never give up. Would you please thank a few Kentucky Muslim? Welcome to the yeah! Working here at Bob's makes like a home to me. So I, so I come here every day and collect my head. Just makes my day. Here, let's go. One. Give me more than that. Two. He's always had an interest in the WWE, and that's where it all started. And he's always looked up to John Cena. Then he realized that John Cena was a bodybuilder, and to get to where he wants to go, and he still wants to go, was to become a bodybuilder. And then so it all just kind of fell in place when we met Glenn. He taught me all about fitness life and bodybuilding. Fitness changed my life emotionally, physically. Don't quit, don't quit. Colin was working the front desk. He was extremely introverted and extremely shy. I was in here practicing my posing routine for an upcoming bodybuilding show. And unbeknownst to me, Colin would come and peek through the blinds there and watch me. Then one day, Colin looked around, snuck in the room, got under the lights, took his shirt off, and then he started emulating my every move. That's when I knew I had a responsibility. I said, hey Glenn, hey, can we talk about me being a bodybuilder? He said, yeah, uh, I, I'll pull you under my wing and we can do it together. Uh, he's a big brother to me and I consider him as a, a real family member to me. I just woke up to him every day as a mentor. This is my fifth place um, award when I won um, Fifth place in bodybuilding competition. We always thought that he could do whatever he set out to do, but for yeah. someone else to see that in him and do it, it means a lot. Glenn has been his trainer, his inspiration. He looks up to him so much, so this is a special night for both of them. It was spiritual, it was moving. When someone has that much passion, that's contagious. He's made this transition and this change and he's now confident. When the sound comes to you, you gotta overcome all the odds. Yeah, it might get hard, it, it, it might hurt, but you, know, you, you gotta keep fighting, you gotta keep pushing with, with everything you've got.